This is the new Astralux MF01S. It is the updated version of the MF01 that I reviewed in my Brightest Flashlights of 2017 video. Now boasting 15,000 lumens from its 18 SST20 LEDs. Other updates also include an improved user interface and an integrated battery holder in the body. Welcome back. Shout out to Banggood for sending me these lights for review. If you did not see my video, Brightest Flashlights of 2017 Top 5 Best, be sure to check that out because there's some great lights in there. Uh, the MF01, the original, is one of those lights. This version had XPG3 LEDs, or you could also get it in Nichia 219. Still an awesome light in 2019, but we now have an updated version. Some of the changes we see are multiple body colors now, including silver, purple, black, green, and we have the option of getting the Luminous SST20 LEDs. Comparing these bodies directly, you can see that they eliminated all the flats. There were flats on the head of the old version, now we have fins all the way around. Also on the body, instead of flats, we just have the mill marks. Also some slight changes on the tail cap. Also before we had the kind of breathing switch as to where we now get one that's not breathing. One of my personal favorite upgrades besides the brighter light, the higher power, is we got, instead of the battery carrier, which we had in the old version where you would take it out and put your batteries in that, you can now just slip them into the body. This not only gives us more metal for heat sinking, which is fantastic, it also, I like it better because these battery carriers have a tendency to be kind of hard on the cells, on the shrink wrap. They wear them out pretty quickly, in my opinion, and I don't like snapping them in and out of there. I, I definitely prefer this design. We also got an upgrade to the user interface. We got Toy Keepers and U-Roll, and we got, like a really good set of instructions. This actually tells you everything you need to know to operate the light. Let's take a quick look at the user interfaces and I'll show you the short version right now. All right, MF01 original. Click for on. Uh, keep clicking and you'll cycle through the modes through your low, medium, high. Uh, double click for turbo. We can press and hold for off. Triple click for blinky modes. Once you're in blinkies, you click again and you can switch from strobe to the different flashes and whatever's in there. MF01S. We can click for on and click for off. Yeah, I told you it was better. From the on position, you can press and hold and you get a ramp. We can have either a smooth ramp or a stepped ramp. I like the smooth. Um, double click for turbo. Triple click for, or no, not triple click, sorry. Click, click, press from off to get to the blinky stuff. That strobe is so fast, my camera can hardly pick it up. Wow, that's an interesting effect. <laughs> We can actually change the speed of that strobe if we press and hold on there. It's kind of hard to show on the camera, but it shows us a little bit. You get the idea. You can speed it up or slow it down. If you want to change to one of the other blinky things, you'd go double click. One last thing we also got is we got color LEDs in this one. Several beautiful LEDs that are not really bright enough to use for light. They're not high power, but they are very attractive and they do have a function. You can use them as battery indicators. What these little guys are doing will change as the power of your battery goes down. Um, this chart shows what they mean. 
I like that they put it as the voltage of one cell and not the whole pack voltage about the brightness. Uh, if you saw my f original video, you know that this light, I test it, the factory rating on it is 12,000 lumens. I tested it at about 10,000 last time. Since then, I have calibrated off Malka, who is using professional grade equipment. So I feel like the numbers that I have today are a little bit more accurate than what I had then. Um, for the 12,000 lumen version, I got... 8,987 lumens at turn on. The turbo timer took about one minute and it settled to 1,634 lumens after the timer had was completely leveled. For the new 15,000 lumen SST40 or SST20 version, I got 11,610 lumens. The turbo timer kicked in a little sooner. It started at about 30 seconds on this because we're at the higher power. Uh, however, after it had all settled, I still had 3,268 lumens. So not only did we gain a couple of thousand lumens on the front end, even after the, uh, the power is settled down, the turbo timer is done doing its thing, we still have more output. First, the MFO1. This is the XPG-3 doing it inside. I wanted to show the, the color blend quality. This is a lower mode. It's just almost perfect. Same color edge to edge. Smooth spot. It's our turbo. Now we'll look at the MF-01S. The blend on a white wall is pretty good edge to edge. This is a 5000K. The MF01, my XPG3 is 6500K. This is 5000K. Um, one thing I notice is it almost seems like the color temperature changes just slightly. Like it's slightly warmer in low than when I'm at full power, but the blending, it's good. This optic and the LEDs together at the very, very edges on a white wall, you can see just a little tiny bit of change, but almost nothing is really good. First up is my LED lenser. This is the MT-18, it's our wide beam, just want to show you what the profile's like. Next is my Firefly's ROT-66, also light, we get pretty wide coverage. Now the MF-01. Nice full beam. Now the MF01S. Really good wide. You can see clear over to the fence there. The trees on the right. We still got a pretty good hot spot. This is the S on the left. Let's This is the original on the right. S version. Original. Looks like we got a little more defined hot spot. Which brings us to the range. We're a pretty good distance from those sheds already, but watch when we go back far. MFO1. Still getting the sheds. Oh, 
and all the bugs. <laughs> MFO1S. Killing the sheds. We're a little on the far outside edges. I mean, look, look what we can still see. You can see the trash can and everything. It's, it's a little dimmer around the edges, but man, in the center, it's just still on fire. Clear out at the sheds. For just a fat, stumpy, handheld light, multi-LED, it's got some range. Go back to the original one more time. Yeah, we're... St I think we are a little wider, but either way, I can see pretty good edge-to-edge -edge coverage. I do think the S has a little bit better range on it. I'll go back to it. If you'd like to get an Astrolux MF01 for yourself, there is a link in the description and a pretty good coupon code to save you some money. As always guys, thanks for watching. Good lucks.